If there was ever a time to resume wearing masks indoors, doctors are saying now is that time as people are being inundated with COVID, flu, and RSV. And masks are seen as one line of defense against the whole slew of viruses circulating in the Bay Area. Crown Force Dan Kerman reports. Cases of COVID-19 as well as flu are continuing to rise across the Bay Area, the state, and the nation, and RSV continues to linger. We're seeing the full effect of the Thanksgiving holiday. And these numbers are not only reflected in cases, but more importantly, they're reflected in hospitalizations. Probably the most seriously at risk is those over 65. Uh, both for RSV and COVID and influenza. That's why many infectious disease specialists are now recommending you put on a mask in indoor public spaces. Right now, the American public doesn't appear to have any appetite for masks, but I think they should. Masking will uh, definitely have a high chance of preventing of RSV, influenza, causes of the common cold. It will give you some protection against COVID. At San Jose State University, mandatory indoor masking will go back into effect on campus December 19th. We have about 4,000 students or about 13% of our student population who are living in student housing, whether that's in dorms or student apartments or whatever, but a large number of our students living in congregate housing settings. Additionally, our students are spending a lot of time in lecture halls or in classroom spaces. While the mask mandate begins after the current semester ends, it's likely the policy will remain in effect when students return from the holiday break. Doctors don't expect universal mask mandates to return, but they do hope people will do it on their own. It's such a simple thing to do to protect yourself. And remember, if you're protecting yourself, you're protecting other people at the same time. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.